to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hello. My father, Gary. Oh. My fiance, Jared. Hello. My brother, Bryson. Hello. My brother, Garen. And my sister in law, Ellie. Hi. <laughs> the whole, what? nearly the whole squad has assembled to talk about this week's weekly peaks, which is fun. It's a this lot of fun to do this week's. Week. I know I had like had to like this go back first. mentally in my mind to make sure I did it right. Well, I thought we'd begin here with this question by R. Keyhill. They say, "Question: Would you be able to put both on a shirt, front and back, for those of us who love both cats and dogs, or maybe one for pets?" Just a thought. We have a customized Asian on our shop where you can put multiple designs on a shirt or your own design you could upload to the site. If you're watching this, I have a little tutorial visual going on of how you can go about doing that. So if there's any shirt that you're like, man, I wish two designs were on it, or I wish I could add some text on there, all of that is available on the site there. So you can customize those shirts the way you want them. We still have a sale going on in the shop, 15% off of everything through today. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, that's still rocking and rolling. I think that we need to address the elephant in the room. Today is Flag Day, and we oh, have to wish you a yeah. happy Flag Day before yes. we get started. <laughs> and we got a new flag. We did, we did get yeah, a new flag. Just, it's a little big <laughs> for our area, but hey, it's it's a good flag. It's a fantastic yeah. flag. It's wonderful. And really, can I, you have a too big flag? That's you know, true. I know the ones they have at some of those auto places, you know, that... Or uh, Camping Huge. World. Yeah. Camping, camping World. world. That you, is a you, always flag. Know it's, you always know it's Camping World because it's always the biggest flag I know. in the skyline. Yeah. Oh, that's Camping World. Sure enough, Camping World. Yeah. <laughs> we, this has only come to our realization, or really, we've only noticed it because we've been doing the RV thing. You could spot a Camping World from space, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> we just have to let the Martians know. <laughs> we'll just have to let this is America. This is America. Yeah. <laughs> actually, it would be really fun if we actually grew like certain colored plants in the ground and we had huge farmland set up to make a flag oh, somebody's oh, done it. I feel like wouldn't it be cool? And then you something. just buy a bunch of farmland in a certain way and you plant certain plants in a certain order to make the flag from space. That'd be awesome. Let's Quick. take a whole state. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take all 50 states. Yeah, course, one big flag. Of course, Hawaii and Alaska are kind of dangling out there. Well, you know what? what Alaska's cool. dangling. We should just make them the flag. You know, <laughs> like it's kind of waving. waving. Right. Yeah. They even have the white for the stars. Yeah, and really, it's not. Snow. It's not. It's kind of not really connected to the rest of the landmass. So it's kind of waving back at it us. Is, you know? It's connected to Canada. The ocean ever shrank, and that land got somehow like partially connected. Who would own the land? Would it be Canada or us? In between the that's, that's how come you have wars. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not going there. We can't just like... This is a massive you question. <laughs> it's Canada. They'd give it to us. That's oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 yeah They're true. so nice. That's the idea, right? I don't. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I don't know what the stereotypes for <laughs> Canadians are. Let us know. Um, <laughs> Trust me. They like their own country. <laughs> I would think they don't so. want us. What'd you say, Gary? That it's all right, eh? That's <laughs> all right, eh? <laughs> oh, right on. On Wednesday, we had an update to the shower build take place, which was pretty exciting. We had a new uh, tool. Or I don't even know what you'd say. A new machinery? Machinery? You to mean the machinery cement family. Mixer? Well, yeah, but or I was trying to mixer? build it up more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did. We got it. You mean the barrel that, that turns. Yeah. That mixes concrete. That mixes concrete. Or whatever you put or in there. Mix mortar it. or cob. Or plaster of Paris. Oh, I don't think you'd match that big a batch of plaster of Paris. <laughs> it sets up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like <laughs> dark into the okay. side. This is on the ramp now. What we've discovered we, we're having some issues with is our wheelbarrow wouldn't fit. Oh, that's a word. That's a sentence. Our wheelbarrow wouldn't fit underneath the wheelbarrow mixer when you fit. dump it out. Yes. So that was that was an issue. And... A Leslie M. had a solution. Do what horse people do. Build a small ramp out of earth, then just push the cement mixer up it and dump it into the wheelbarrow. We do it with manure from a wheelbarrow to a manure spreader. Same tactic. Oh, uh, oh good. Neat. Good one. I've seen we had a, a ramp. You know, that, that bike ramp we have? Mm. I was thinking that could work. <laughs> yeah, the bike ramp we made that yeah. long time ago. That would work. That's what Garen and you made, right? Is that yeah. still out there? Somewhere. It's behind the old brown house. Oh, oh yeah, we moved it back there because oh. we had to we had to make room for the the giant well driller. Yes, you didn't want to 
crush right over the uh, top of it. I was like, jump it, jump it, jump it. You would have crushed it. It would have been right up it. <laughs> That's yeah. true. It would have been able to hold the whole thing up. The well rig, the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, did you build that, Garen? There are trusses <laughs> underneath the thing. I'm not kidding at all. These <laughs> roof trusses, pre-built. I remember this. <laughs> Yeah. It's yeah. it's sturdy. It's not gone anywhere. Yeah. How old yeah. were you? Do you remember when you built that? I was probably four or five. <laughs> you were. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ellie's like, I don't believe it. <laughs> you shouldn't. I don't know how old I was. Maybe. I might have been six. Six. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I think you were probably ten. Yeah. Sure. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Agree to disagree. We didn't make really a video don't. out of it, so must have been before. Yeah. Before the... Go kart yeah. video. BV. Well, wasn't this Before for bikes video. or was yeah, it, it was for bike, motorcycles? It was a bike Garen? jump, wasn't it? Was it bike jump yeah, or motorcycle bikes. jump? Bikes. Bike. 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 Okay. Well, we didn't have a skate park, so Garen had to invent one. It, Did, it's just normal. Have normal you ever jumped stuff. it? <laughs> Did you ever jump it? Yeah. Wow. Nice. You, you blinked rapidly. How jumped is this jump? Low jumpage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Low jumpage. Still a jump. If you had air. It's a jump. <laughs> no one mentions how much <laughs> or what the landing looked like. It, yeah. Will Garmer okay. says, Bryson is wrong. This mixer doesn't look like a drum. It looks just like those plastic jack lanterns that kids use on Halloween. Yeah. You should paint a face on it and use it for trick or treating this yep. year. <laughs> or you could just put some lights in yep. it and set it in the courtyard on Halloween night. Do you imagine? Making it kind of a pumpkin shape and like rolling up with it. Like, okay, we're ready for some candy. Check it in the barrel. It's <laughs> huge I barrel. I like that idea. I really though. do too. You put it out in your front yard. You paint a face on it. It's really cute. Put lights in it. Put a light on it. That'd be real good for it. Did you say make it run? <laughs> Yeah, just paint a face on it. Yeah, I no, think we should do that yeah. anyway. Uh, I, feel I think like we should put the candy in there and put sensors. So then they reach their hand and it clicks on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> candy oh, no. starts rolling around. <laughs> and the kid <laughs> trying to get in. Oh, gosh, well, no. I was kind of in our small town. They do a Halloween bash every year. And I was thinking you just hook that up to a generator. Or you don't really wouldn't need it. You just cart it around from house to house and be like, trick or treat. And have people and have fill it, going it up. around. Yeah. yeah. The, okay. the candy comes out all like squashed. <laughs> It's all it's all mixed. Well, it does its job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll unwrap the candy. This Snickers sure tastes like Skittles. What is up with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And a hint of concrete. <laughs> concrete. Uh, all right. Mountain Deluxe said about Shay. Shay was a shavier. He was. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So. That was a good one. That's a good one. I think, Dad, at the end of the video, you said bi weekly. Diana Corin said bi peakly. Yes, bi peakly. Sounds good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> but bi means every other. Oh, so it's, it's tri weekly because it's, it's T R I weekly because it's not. Oh. T R Y? No, T R I because it's tri, <laughs> like a trifecta or a triangle. We're doing three every every third. So it's a tri weekly. It's not technically every third. It's technically two and then miss one. Yeah. Oh. So no, it's tri-weekly three. Be every third week, we put one out. I think we're so it's triple threat. So it's actually a negative bi weekly. No, it's oh. like. Oh. <laughs> I think that or we've only succeeded weekly. confusing ourselves. Twice it's weekly. Bi bi weekly. Oh. Bi well, one we thing I, some, there was a, in a week. Dough. Oh, the wink. I loved it. That was great. <laughs> 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 there was a comment. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'll, I'll bring I'll bring that comment up okay. on screen so Where, you can um, see. The comment was we didn't need the apostrophe on two weekly peaks on the end screen. And we went round and round oh, yeah. on if we should put an apostrophe well, we, on that or yeah, not. We knew it would be <laughs> Jerry said no apostrophe. He did, he was right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have an education, you college educated people. <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> That we overrolled yeah. them. Yeah. And we should have done that. And I'm supposed to be some great English guy. So I was just like. <laughs> Didn't you used to write training? Uh, yes, you know? I did write training. So. <laughs> so Oops. you could say you were a teacher of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that. You could say that. But even English te- teachers are wrong sometimes. Never. Hence, Never. They just H- read the English apostrophe S. <laughs> Hence the apostrophe S. <laughs> well, I knew it didn't go on the very end. That's possessive. But I don't know why it didn't go in between the S. I hmm. actually wasn't thinking of okay. it from an English standpoint. I was thinking it as a visual standpoint, that I wanted the weekly peak <clears throat> separate from the S. So it really didn't matter to me. I just thought, let's just put it, you know. 
It's an ass. Figure it out. Apostrophe or no. It actually makes sense without it. As long as it looks good. (laughs) Yeah. You know, in Hebrew, they took all the jots and tittles out, which were a whole bunch of little markings in the Hebrew language. That's all gone. Now, you don't see all that, but originally it had all those little markings and stuff, and I think we should get rid of all the punctuation. (laughs) Just, matter of fact, jam all the letters together, no spaces. (laughs) Yikes! As, as an we could do it. Yikes. Emojis every once in a while. What, was we could do it. That's right. We actually could do that. And I know because you have to combine names in programming, and you can get several words in there and read it pretty easily. Actually, don't you ever see those things? If you can read this, you know, and and it's yeah, wrong. But, but but as an avid reader, yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Punctuation. Just saying, just saying. Punctuation for the babies. Logic comes in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure someone could find a words, two words that if you put together makes another word. But well, yeah, yeah, it would be problematic. Well, I have to say really fast, but I think I'm going to get this wrong. I'm going to blame it on being tired. But you know, when you apostrophe <laughs> something like when you're going to pause in a sentence and you throw that little pause, is it called an apostrophe? You mean a Help comma? Me comma. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like an apostrophe. Yeah, but it's, it's just you know, a little it's lower. lower. It's okay, lower. Yeah. Comma. Um, when they were bringing up the idea of using a comma in the English language. People used it all over the place. It was very confusing. They wrote a paper on how to properly use it, and then that paper kind of shaped how we use a comma. So maybe we need to revisit the whole apostrophe situation. Yeah, we'd have to wait for the English yeah. dictionary to come out with it, or all that stuff. It could take it, forever. I just solved the problem with two words being close together to make one. <laughs> we just camelback it. So you capitalize the letter of the first word or every word. So you now I have to push like the I'm... shift key to type. I'm just <laughs> saying no there. shift key. Yeah, shift key's getting a workout. <laughs> yeah, no shift key, no punctuation, just letters. I Why don't we like... just make the, the shift key space and then it's the same workout? Why space? Just another keystroke. I think that you guys could make a serious living coming up with people's gamer tags because I feel like this logic applies to gamer tags <laughs> everywhere. I mean, I mean, yeah, in a gamer tag or any kind of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they, they don't have so spaces. much. Yeah. It would be fascinating to make a programming language that's all one line. Oh, fascinating. Called computer language, mm. but let's not talk about that. I was going to make some <laughs> really smart English <laughs> like the segue. Like the comma thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I still haven't recovered from not knowing you, it was a comma. You're actually so. right if you flip it upside down. Well, and then you know, it was ish. All right? It's Garen ish. wants to say something. What are you going to say, Garen? He was yawning. He oh, was yawning. He's tired of this conversation. He's tired of listening to us. <laughs> Stick with us, Karen. <laughs> He's like, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. And Ellie's like, no, he didn't do that. Okay. Sherry Young said, will you be sealing the stone stink? Ooh, did I say that word? Sink. Stink. Sink. Let's see. We actually were talking about that. What I think did, we should. What was it that we decided? You, you wanted to seal There are it? cracks in it, so I, I think I, we should. Think if we did seal it, it would be nice because it would pop it and pop the colors and the depth yeah. of the rock and, and all and that And we're going to be sealing the floor, so. Yeah, and the pillars will be sealed. Yeah. I, so the answer is yes, yes. then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like that. We're going to seal it with uh, red paint. <laughs> 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 I know I got I got painting behind the bottles today where the river is. I did not like it. Then I went on the outside and painted and left it. And I liked it. Yeah. And I thought, you know, it's mortar. I shouldn't have to paint between the bottles. And it looks good. So the main thing is I paint the top. You know, so that, you know, it's sealed on the top. So I think, but now the problem is I painted a chunk inside. We can wire brush. I it, don't know what that has to do with. a rubbery with the ceiling. Text. I guess it's we're not going to worry about it. We're one of those people that we'll, we won't worry about it until we have to, if we have to. Usually. You know, that's there, how there's we something go. weird about this family when it comes to paint. It seems like it's either the wrong paint or we painted the wrong place. Isn't that no, funny No, it's us? me. It's not the family. <laughs> it's me. Is it? Well, I don't know. Yeah, we'll uh, we had all kinds uh, of paint conversations with Garen yeah, and Ellie. Yeah, because you guys have been painting. Well, we've been painting. I mean, we haven't it's had perfect. any major issues with that. Okay, but we've picked one color. Let's not and get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but up at also... the cabin, it was like, that looks so pink. Remember the pink thing at the cabin? That was oh, like... Oh, yeah, but that's... But right it wasn't right. pink. No, yeah. that never happened. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. You know, I would... <laughs> 
prove it. <laughs> well, Ellie, we picked yeah, out, don't, don't, don't Ellie you picked out all the house colors and everything was perfect. It's beautiful. It's true. Yeah, as long as I stay out of it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's no. what I need to do. Stay out of it, but then... Who's going to be into it? Come I on. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Bree's the artist. She has done all the coloring, so she knows okay, what's... If you all... You saw what the RV looked the right like. Colors. If you guys leave me it, it's going to be all child colors. So <laughs> this is something we have got to be careful of. <laughs> the second weekly peak that came out on Friday, which featured Garen and Ellie's van build, oh, yeah. van conversion build, was super awesome. Yeah. Design Doctor 247 says, the blankets and pillows will fit perfectly in the new cabinet that y'all made in that beautiful cabinet. Is that the cabinet. idea? Or did you have is something that the else idea? you want to put in is that the Is that the blankets and pillows one? Yeah, that yeah. was kind of our thought because like, this is a bed area. We were thinking all the bedding could go there and any other storage, probably the kids' bed stuff and all that. Be a nice place for that. Yeah, if it all, it all fits. <laughs> yeah. If, if yeah. there's it's room when the, the tools are all in there, I just was curious. <laughs> Yeah. When the tools are all in there, will there be room for blankets? Tools are not going to be any tools. Yeah. There's no need never for gonna tools. Never going to need them. Because it'll never break down? Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll be giving you a call. <laughs> Neophyte Alpha says, if you put a copy of Starry Night on the outside of the van, when you drive down the road, you could hear people say, look at that van go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Starry one. night. Sorry, too. we had to pause the everything for that one. That, that, was, was, good. Good. that was good. Okay. <laughs> Gracie to the max asks, would the wood add a lot of weight or is the pallet wood quite light? Pallet wood is really light. It's really and dried out. Yeah, it's really dried out. Most of it's really light woods anyway. It's a 1500 van. So it's, it's, a, it's a smaller van out of the van scope of things, but it still can hold a lot of weight back there. Let's see, I, when I was looking it all up, I, I don't remember the exact numbers of the weight of the van, but I know that we can hold about over the axles, we can add about 3000 pounds to the van. We're not going to add that much because we don't want to max it out. The light pallet wood back there, we're going to probably be looking at 1,000 to 1,500 pounds all said and done, I think. And we pulled all the carpet and all the other old stuff out yeah. too, so... It's really probably evened out in the weight so far. Yeah, Maybe it'd be like a, from now on we'll be adding weight. Yeah, it'd be like a stripped out cargo van, a lot lighter than any interiors mm -hmm. before we started, and then we'll be adding on to that. I don't think it's going to be an issue, and if it is, we'll address it then. I mean, we can do lots to it. Nice. Cool. Okay, can you so fill it with helium to make it lighter? That's fill exactly the tires right. with helium. <laughs> Gonna... Allison Scar said, the van is looking great. I love how Azalea always wants to help. Is Diesel okay? His eyes look like they might have an infection. Then again, it may be the sawdust. They just look a little red. Hope he is okay. Yeah, it's definitely just all the sawdust. We have the cooler sitting right there now, and he loves to sit in front of the cooler. And there just gets to be a lot of sawdust blowing around on the low levels, like across the ground and stuff that cooler blows in. He just gets it in his he eyes just... all day. Yeah, he, just the, he doesn't move. He just yeah. lets the cooler blow on him. <laughs> His eyes may be a little itchy, but uh, it goes hot. away fast and he's not hot. So, <laughs> <laughs> good deal. Really, we're battling overheating. So, yeah. we're doing good. So, so, you guys should get him some goggles. That's what I was thinking. Oh, God. <laughs> I think you mean doggles, okay Dad. Doggles? <laughs> Sure, Get some doggles him for him so he can sure. see. I can see Azalea going over there and pulling on him and snap. <laughs> <laughs> Be a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's like, you did this to me. Yeah. Now more she, than my eyes are red. Then she says, da. Because doesn't she say da yeah. for everything? Maybe. Yeah, no. something like that. And see, She's got a few other words now. You yeah, know, she's I, pretty I advanced she did. for her age. <laughs> All right. Kathleen Winkler said, can you still get those continuous earth bags? We need about four of those rolls if you know where. Mom searched all over the place and found a link that sourced all sorts of bag getting places. We purchased ours from China and I believe that exact same link is there. It that, might be. Yeah, there, there, be there's there. a link to China and I thought that might be the one. I can't remember the exact same like earth bag or whatever. We'll leave a link down there, but it has just tons of resources down at the bottom and... Okay. So you should be able to find some. Now, with, with the earth bags we bought, though, we bought 10 rolls, 20,000 yeah. feet per roll. I think that they so, had us like purchase that. a lot. Wait, they did. It came in a huge trailer. They like they wouldn't they do it if they didn't do a lot. They, they had us buy, was it 10? 10 rolls, but and, they were 20,000. And he said that Maybe he had to get special permission because it was such a small load. Order, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but he did it. He was so nice. Yeah. You have to go through the import-export and find a broker and that whole routine. So it does take a little bit more to, to order them the way we did. But, you know, we wanted a little bit more than just, you know, a roll or two. So Trying the Hyper Adobe on yeah. the... Shop. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I think about it. So we can every leave day. a link too because Tiny Shiny Home gave us a link. Oh, to the Hyperdobe. Yes. So let's put I'll that get, one I'll get down both there of those. too. Hyperdobe and the, also the continuous earth bags as mm-hmm. well. I'll, I'll have them both weave. down there for you if you'd like. I imagine the Hyperdobe is probably cheaper. That's what I understand. Because it it's is. less, there's less material there. Yeah, you have to remember too that like you're not buying barbed wire. So you, that needs to be factored into the cost of the regular continuous earth bags, which I mean, it's and they're a little cost. white. Although in some cases you do have to add cement. That's true, but that's the same with the earth bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, earth bags, you have to do the same thing sometimes. That's true, you have to do the same with that in areas too. Need a little clay like we've been blessed with, so has been perfect. Well, we really appreciate you hanging out with us and being a part of our family, being a part of the conversation. We love reading comments and it's very encouraging when you post something nice or constructive or whatever. It's just, we really appreciate it. So thank you for taking the time to do that. It means a lot to us. Thank you so much. And we will catch you on Wednesday for another weekly peak. Bye. 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 Happy Bye. flag day. Happy flag day. Happy flag day. <laughs>